The Singing Mermaid by Julia Donaldson and Lydia Monks. Did you ever go to Silver Sands on the sunny summer's day? Then perhaps you saw the mermaid who sang in a deep blue bay. She sang to the fish in the ocean, to the haddock, the hake, and the ling, and they flashed their scales and swished their tails to hear the mermaid sing. And sometimes the singing mermaid swam to the silvery shore. She sat and combed her golden hair, and then she sang some more. She sang to the cockles and mussels. She sang to the birds on the wing. And the seashells clapped and the seagulls flapped to hear the mermaid sing. When Sam Slide's circus came to town, Sam took a stroll by the sea. He heard the mermaid singing, and he rubbed his hands with glee. He said, "I can make you famous. I can make you rich." He said, "You shall swim in the pool of marble and sleep on a fine feather bed." You shall sing for the lords and the ladies. You shall sing for the queen and the king. And young and old will pay good gold to hear the mermaid sing. Don't go! Don't go! Cried the seagulls, and the seashells warned. He lies! But the mermaid listened to old Sam Sly and smiled as she waved her goodbyes. And he took her way to the circus, and she sang to the crowds round the ring. And more, more, more came the deafening roar when they heard the mermaid sing. Now the mermaid shared a caravan with Annie the acrobat, and Ding and Dong the circus dogs, and Bella the circus cat, and she made good friends with the jugglers, and the man who swallowed fire, and the clown with the tumble-down trousers, and the woman who walked on wire. But she wasn't friends with Old Sam Sly. No, she didn't care for him, for he made her live in a fish tank where there wasn't room to swim, and there was no pool of marble. There was no feather bed, and when she begged him, "Set me free," he laughed and shook his head. All summer long the circus toured, all autumn, winter, spring, and many a crowd cheered long and loud to hear the mermaid sing. But the mermaid dreamt of silver sands, and she longed for the deep blue sea. And her songs grew sad. And again she said, "I beg you, set me free." But again he laughed and shook his head, and he told her, "No such thing. Here you will stay while people pay to hear the mermaid sing." At silver sands, a seagull was flying to his nest. When on the breeze he heard a song, the song which he loved best. And he followed the song to the caravan. Sam Sly was about to lock it. The seagull watched as he turned the key and slipped it inside his pocket. The seagull waited till Sam had gone. Then he perched on the window sill, and tap 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 at the window. He tapped with his yellow bill. Come back, come back to Silver Sands. It's only a mile away. I can find the key and set you free if you'll come back home to the bay. Escape. Barked the dogs. Escape! Meowed the cat. But the mermaid sighed. I'd fail. For how could I walk to Silver Sands when I only have a tail? Like this! Cried Annie the acrobat as she stood up on her hands. This is the way, the only way to get to Silver Sands. Right hand, left hand, tail up high. There's really nothing to it. If I give you lessons every night, you'll soon learn how to do it. Next week, while Sam was snoring, the seagull stole the key. He carried off to the caravan and set the mermaid free. And he flew ahead to guide her as she walked upon her hands all along the moonlit road that led to Silver Sands. And the creatures on the seashore and the fish beneath the foam jumped and splashed and danced with joy to have their mermaid home. And she sang to the cockles and mussels. She sang to the birds on the wing, and the seashells clapped and the seagulls flapped to hear the mermaid sing. And if you go down to Silver Sands and swim in the Bay of Blue, perhaps you'll see the mermaid, and perhaps she will sing for you.